young professionals and a young engaged audience are future board members. They are potentially future donors. They are all the future um, of a museum and a gallery. We cannot focus solely on mature, wealthy individuals because it is those young professionals who will be our future. What I would say is that, you know, in a sense, it's part of museums and organizations like mine, which are very old, actually um, waking up to a really important conversation with young people. It matters. You know, social issues matter. Climate's important, environment's important, corruption, you know, these are really important um, uh, issues in the young person's vocabulary and ethics are important. And we have to have ethical and cultural and diversity issues actually to the fore. You might argue that some of the bigger museums need to have spaces which are a little bit more flexible, spontaneous, relevant for the discussions that are going on for those issues that are important for young people. So if I'm thinking, you know, about us that, you know, obviously resources are a big thing during this, uh, you know, COVID situation, but, you know, can we uh, open up a space where we are able to have more spontaneous and impactful shows in the ways in which young people are defining it, which is, as Frida was saying, and as I was touching on before, might be around something to do with uh, community, you know, climate change, environment, education, some of the important issues. Um, I'd like to think that some of the, the, the bigger, more classic shows are impactful and that people are lending and making an impact already. And I wouldn't want to diminish that in any other way, but I realize that we're talking about a two-tier thing. Now the conversation for me is, that isn't in doubt. The conversation is around how we as museums open our eyes and start to listen to what young people really do want by way of engagement in the museum world so that we actually are giving them something which is a two-way street, which may not be about money. And I think that what we have to let go of is the idea that one can make money out of young people who may be unmoneyed and remember that that engagement is super important because this is our future.